I'm Emily from the blog fearlessdiy.com. Today I'm going to show you how I take an antique book like this and make it just look neutral. So I'm going to show you my method for doing it. There's lots out there. Um, this one is just easy peasy and uh, you can get it done using stuff you can buy at Walmart. Um, I'm going to use this um, Waverly chalk paint that you can get from Walmart in the color plaster. It's a matte finish chalk paint. Um, and then something that I had an issue with when I first painted these books was that um, when I touched them, you know, some of that chalk paint would come off of me because it's not sealed. Um, and I have a black bookcase. And so obviously it would kind of like come off on the bookcase a little bit. And so um, I use this Kills Clear Wax. It's actually used for um, chalk paint or milk paint. And I got this from Walmart as well. Um, and it's a super easy process. And you also get to kind of do it how you want. So. We're gonna get started with a little bit of paint. Pour it on your paper or your plate. You need a little paintbrush. Okay, so when you're first starting it, um, you wanna keep your cover off because um, I do not like painting or whatever the pages of a book because they always warp and look funny you know they don't ever they don't ever look right afterwards so at first you are just getting paint on the book now if you want a really really thin coat then just water down your paint just a little bit and put that on and if you want a thicker coat you might have to um might have to do more than one coat like this is a really dark book and you know, I really do just want it to be neutral. So this one might take more. So don't worry about getting it pretty. Just get it on there, clean up your edges. Okay, so then now let's just say that I want to show this little medallion area in the middle a little more. Just gonna wipe off the paint a little bit, see? Not that anybody's really gonna see it because um, it's on the front, but you might. And then um, maybe there's a little section here on the spine that you want to show. You could put some wax on before you paint. And let's see, I'll, let me show you how that goes. Like you want the title of the book to show or something like that. You can be a little artistic. I mean, it's red, so that wouldn't be like my first choice, but that's okay. Okay. Give that just a minute to set while we're painting the rest of the book. Now, I don't think that you should paint every old book that you've got because, I mean, sometimes you want a color. Christmas, you want red or you want green. And I'm all about, you know, color in your, in your books as well. Um, but most of the time I like having um, more neutral, neutral books. I've seen people cover them with linen um, or with paper. But... Honestly, this is just cheap and easy. I already have the paint from other projects. I always have paint around. Okay. Get a little paint on the wax. It's already drying on the front of the cover. Okay, so there, the title is a little bit, um, it's a little bit less bright because you put the wax on it first. 
and then wipe off it down here just so we can show the red again. I'm just kind of playing to tell you the truth. I kind of like that. Okay, let it dry. Now, um, here's some ones that I've done already. Um, so this one, uh, after I painted it, I just kind of wiped it back off. Actually, I think I just barely dry brushed this one a little bit, so I left some of the color, the blue, visible. This one as well. And then this one, because it had some interesting details on this spine. After I um, just lightly, almost dry brushed it, I wiped the paint back off just here um, on the spines. So we're gonna let the one that we just painted, whoopsie, dry. And then um, there's a couple of different things you can do. You can either use a dark wax to seal your paint on your book, or you can use the clear wax and I, I've done both. Um, so you definitely get some more dingy, um, you know, look, a darker look, but you can also pick up cool stuff if the book is textured. So let's try it on here. Well, that's cool. Some of the gold is shining through. Let's see. Now that would look awesome in a book stack. Now see how bright white this looks now compared to this one? Now that looks pretty cool. And then, you know, if it was Halloween, you could put some orange in there. Or you could do, like, this is a greeny blue one. That looks cool. And then this one, I like the linen look of it, but, um, you know, it has to, we gotta do something. Actually, we we'll probably do it just like that. Yeah. Now this one definitely needs some dark wax on it. It's too white. So once it dries, then, then the, the paint won't come off on your surfaces anymore. Um, and it will be sealed so it doesn't get off on your hands anymore either. But I'm just using a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of wax. I mean, just barely dabbing my, my divorce cloth in there. So that's bright white, you can see. And then this is the side with the wax. So that looks older, more antique -y. That's what I like about this, because it's just whatever look you're going for. Now I'll tell you, I mean, don't do this with your nice books or anything like that. But I got an entire box of um, antique books at a library sale for two bucks. So you can play around with them a little bit. Now let's see if I can find a really old one to show you another thing to do. I like that. Okay. book. I mean, I kind of like the color, but it's kind of falling apart and something has chewed the whole section off. So this one, I actually want to expose, um, that antique, um, paper that's, that's on the spine. So you use scissors or you can use a utility knife if you have one, um, and just cut Actually, like an X-Acto knife would work really good for this. Okay, and look at that. I 
I love having this color, this old paper. So I've got this color now. Sometimes you're, I'm able to pull the rust off and sometimes you're not. So sometimes this could be the book on the end, like we get all it off, it'd be book on the end and sometimes you're just gonna show that part. You know, like that. Yeah, that was cool. So some of them I do that too as well. Okay, that was my quick and easy. Get yourself some chalk paint and um, a little bit of wax and get to antiquing your books. And I don't have any tips for antiquing the paper because I don't. Um, if I don't like the way, like the color of the paper, then I just use that one for the spine, you know, you know, color the spine or something. Like I don't like that orange color or whatever. I don't mess with paper because it always looks funky. Like that's awesome paper, I love that. Now chalk paint dries pretty fast, um, but you want it to be all the way dry before you put your wax on. So I think normal dry time for chalk paint is two hours. I'm not sure because it's on paper if it's a little sooner or something, just touch it. You'll know it feels dry and dusty. And this one doesn't have to wax. It feels real dry and dusty and then throw your wax on. I guess I'll show you, if you do a clear one, it doesn't really, um, it, it doesn't really change the color, but I'll tell you, it changes the texture from being dry and dusty. Um, it feels just like, um, it's smooth like, like uh, silk. I guess I could show you one that I dry brushed. So, okay, let's dry brush this one. Um, now with this technique, you just want to barely have any paint on your paintbrush at all. To me, this takes longer because I'm just trying to really get it on like those words there. And wherever you first lay down your brush is where you're gonna have more paint at. This gave you a good idea to go and make some neutral winter decor for yourself. Mm -hmm.